This video is made possible by FilterGrade. Hello guys, Softoni here, welcome to another video tutorial. First, like always, I want to thank you for watching this video. And in this lesson, we're going to create this really cool and abstract stars background. Uh, really easy to follow, really easy to create step by step. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button. Also turn on the bell icon so you will always get a notification whenever I post a new clip. Okay, uh, let's see what we're going to create today. Alright, we're back here in After Effects and first, like always, we're going to create a new composition. Hit Ctrl plus N or this little icon here to create a new comp. For this uh, width and height, we will do full HD resolution. And for composition name, I will do final. Of course, you can type your own name for duration 7 seconds long and frame rate around 30 frames per second. Hit OK and now it's time to create our background right click here in our timeline then go to new and to create new solid for this uh, name i will uh, do background of course hit enter or ok and our first effect here in effects and preset will be ramp effect and if you can't find this effects and preset go to window and then find it uh, here on effects and preset also shortcut is control plus five okay i will type now ramp effect drag and drop onto our background layer and we will do few adjustments here for this start of ramp go to around here and of ramp go to around here and uh, we will change our second color our end color from this white to dark dark gray color hit ok and also now it's time to duplicate our background layer hit ctrl plus d or go edit and then duplicate hit f3 on your keyboard to see our effects control and our next effect is going to be venetian blinds find it here on effects and preset drag and drop onto our background layer and we can also rename this layer to venetian blinds okay and uh, we will also do a few adjustments here for this uh, transition i will do around 10 direction maybe around 75 and we will leave width and feather to around 20 and zero okay and also it's time to uh, change our blending mode if you can't see this uh, those blending modes hit on this little icon here expand or collapse uh, like so and find here overlay blending mode now as you can see we have really cool lines here in our final composition now it's time to create another composition uh, here in our project close this effect control for now and let's create a new composition hit control plus n or this little icon and for the composition name i will rename it to dots also 9020 by 1080 hit ok and we will create a new solid right click and then go new to create a new solid also rename it to dots and our first effect will be fill effect here in our effects and preset drag and drop onto our uh, dots layer and for this color i will do white and our uh, second effect will be cc ball action and we will also uh, make a few adjustments here for grid spacing go to around 15 and also ball size to around 50. okay uh, now it's time to create adjustment layer here in our dots comp right click and then go new to create uh, adjustment layer for this adjustment layer i will simply uh, rename it to fn fractal noise and find here in the facts and preset fractal noise effect okay drag and drop onto our uh, adjustment layer and also we will make a few adjustments for contrast go to around uh, 1000 and brightness minus 100 like so also complexity lower down to one 
and now uh, we will animate evolution hit alt uh, on your keyboard and type time asterisk 250 like so now when we hit zero we have uh, this really cool animation and also now it's time to change our uh, track math uh, from none to luma inverted for this that's uh, layer okay now when we hit zero we have something like this okay our next step is to drag and drop our uh, dots uh, composition here in our final composition drag and drop and as you can see we already have this uh, really cool and creative animation what we can do next is to find triton effect here in facts and preset and to change our colors according our needs go to highlights and then change it to maybe i will for this tutorial change it to red and of course uh, you will change you will find your own suitable color and then just hit ok now it's time to create another two compositions here in our project i will close this effect control for now hit control plus n and for this uh, composition name i will do star shape uh, with 700 height 700 and hit ok and also we will create new composition just stars i will do with 9020 full hd by 1080 hit ok and then open up this stars shape composition and hit q on your keyboard to find here uh, press q for a few times to find here uh, star tool and uh, also if you hold uh, left mouse button you can see this pop-up menu and find here star tool and then just double click here on our star tool icon just make sure that our fill color is set to white and stroke to none double click here and as you can see now we have this star shape you can readjust it move it down a bit also i will change to stars star name okay and now it's time to add our first effect hit here and then go to effects and preset find ramp double click and then for the start of ramp go to around here or so and for the end color go to around here for this end color i will do red for this tutorial purpose of course you can change uh, to your own color hit ok and also we will add another effects here on our star layer find here in the effects and preset bevel alpha drag and drop onto our star also hit control plus d okay and now we will also find drop shadow effect okay drag and drop onto our star layer and next thing what we're gonna do is to change softness from 0 to 300 also duplicate this drop shadow effect once uh, for this distance go to around 10 softness to around 20 and duplicate it once again okay now it's time to scale this star layer uh, just a bit hit s on your keyboard and move it to around 80 percent like so okay this is looking really cool to me now it's time to uh, drag and drop our star shape into our stars composition drag and drop our stars shape like so and also we will make a few adjustments here in stars composition hit here on our star shape comp and then hit p for position hold alt on your keyboard and then type an expression like so Wig wiggle open and close bracket 1.100 now when we hit zero we have this uh, cool movement of our star shape okay now it's time to readjust our shape here in our uh, starts composition hit control uh, plus d for a few times uh, this one hit r for rotation rotate it if you want also control plus d once again move it move it to around here rotate it also you can scale it if you want hit s for scale control plus d once again move it to around here rotate it okay control plus d once again like so hit s for scale control plus d once again just reposition our star shape into our uh, stars composition I i'm just doing this uh, randomly of course you can do uh, this according your needs according your wishes like so 
and this is looking really cool for me uh, in this uh, stars composition readjust it a bit more and now when we hit zero we will get something like this also we have this empty space like so hit this one control plus d move it to around here and now this is looking really cool uh, for, for now here in our stars camp okay i will close this stars composition for now and uh, our next step is to hit here on our stars comp and drag and drop here in our finals and as you can see we already have cool uh, looking background dots background with this star stars uh, nicely animated shapes okay uh, also our next step is to uh, here in our blending modes change this to overlay hit ctrl plus d once and also hit ctrl plus d uh, once again also uh, ctrl plus d and then uh, find here for our fourth stars layer uh, color dodge and also once again and as you can see now we have this uh, really cool looking stars here in our final composition now it's time to create a light leaks here in our scene I go right click and then new to create a new solid i will rename it to light leaks 1920 by 1080 and then hit ok here in effects and preset uh, find fractal fractal noise drag and drop onto our light leaks layer and here we will make a few adjustments for this uh, fractal type uh, go to turbulent smooth uh, for this no noise type go to black uh, contrast maybe around 250 brightness to minus 50 complexity set set this uh, to one and also we will animate our evolution uh, hit alt hold alt on your keyboard and then type here time asterisk uh, 100 now when we hit zero we have this uh, uh, square animation really cool okay uh, now it's time to drag our uh, light leaks uh, layer here above this uh, venetian blinds layer and for the blending modes find here screen and hit also t for opacity go to around 15 and of course we will add here another effects go to effects and preset and find here hue and saturation drag and drop onto our light leaks layer check this colorized box also hit alt for this colorized hue and type here wiggle open and close bracket 5.50 and now when we hit zero we have this really cool and awesome blocky animation okay uh, one thing uh, what we can do next is to open up this uh, dots composition and instead of luma inverted change here to luma and now in our finals this is looking uh, really cool like so all right guys uh, this was awesome tutorial in this uh, today's uh, video if you like this uh, tutorial please hit that like button also hit subscribe button if you haven't already uh, also take a look on my channel for even more great tutorials and until next time stay creative and bye bye